Right, I'm back everyone. Now, um, <laughs> I thought I was filming and I wasn't, so um, I'm going to take you through uh, what I did next because I've started putting her together and um, I'm just going to, I knew I had a bit of wire somewhere, found it. I'm just going to shift all this out of the way. Do you remember those were the bits I made a mistake with? Um, so, what I've done is, and I said I had to do a body, uh, and I've just taken a piece like that, I've gone across the top, pulled it together, leaving a half inch, tied that off, then at the bottom section, the only thing I've done is I've left, I, what I did, I didn't gather it as much, I did glue the inch here in the centre, and then I hand stitched it right the way across, gathering in these ends. And um, basically that's all I've done for that. Uh, only because I wanted that closed, the middle sections, and then I can open this section to pop the leg in, which is what I've done now. And all I do for that is just to pop and glue the leg in like that. Um, what I did with the arms, because you saw me make those, is I just put a little gash here, just cut it with a um, f um, craft knife. Uh, opened it up with my fingers because don't forget this stretches a little bit and then glued because these are all glued already and pointed like that it was easy to slot that into uh, at an angle and, and that's all I've done there so basically it's just like making a, a sack only I left that flat there and then gathered up the leg section uh, and that leg fits in there perfectly so what I'm going to do now is to pop in the other leg now we can turn these and you know have them however we want and like I say because it's glued or oh, oh, I'm just hang on a minute because I knew that was going to happen why wouldn't it happen <laughs> just to get the glue stick out um because I've left it laid down I need to get I don't know what I've done with it my uh, when I shifted everything about I need to get my rest because they're supposed to go like that never ever laid them down I'm having to because I haven't got any other options at the moment Right, fresh glue stick, here we go. Um, and all I need to do is just to glue around that. This is where I burn the hell out myself. Make sure the seam's at the back. And I have two lots of... Uh, make sure I've got that right, yeah, there we go. In this gap here, I'm going to fit in the leg. And then we just push that in push it in like that that's fine wait for that to dry and you can shape that back now I'm just going to let that set for a little minute um, I don't think I did yes I did do that just to stiffen it up a little bit turn it over I did do that section oh that's glued down anyway see and your legs can be however you want them. I mean, she's going to be fully clothed. Now, what I've done also, I've done the face, uh, the head. But before I put that on, I need to paint the face on. And I'm not confident. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm not. But we're going to paint the face, uh, face on. But like I said, just wait for that to dry. And we can shape all of that. Um... <laughs> At least I've made a doll. <laughs> that will fit on there, which I don't want it. I'm going to put hair on her as well. Um, but yeah. I, oh, and I've done that one hand. So I'm going to show you how I've done the hand. It was very simple, uh, which I'm going to do now. And I did make it out of uh, crepe paper. What I did, I cut four pieces the same. Now I'm just going to sit down a minute. I know I can see there. Just let me put a knot in my thread. A little bit tricky to do these. Um, I wanted it all the same because if I want to paint it, I can. Now, all I did, took the needle and thread and just began to stitch around the outside. So I just caught it a couple of times. Little tacking stitches. Then went around the edge.
and because I've cut it uh, with the grain stretching that way the, the hand can stretch out as much as I want it to so that is um, a little tip if I had cut it the opposite way it wouldn't have stretched it would stretched that way rather than that way so like I said we're just going to stitch around the edge and I'm going to do this a couple of times for uh, safety now by now you should have either watched or be watching um, if you're interested that is uh, part one I'm just going to go over that little bit again a couple of times give it a tacking stitch and then I'm going to go over so I'm going to do an over stitch it's just to help secure it I'm going to do these quite close together and pull my thread down I've really really enjoyed doing this my hands are hurting at the moment but um, it is very Coming. I'm going to leave that needle threaded but I now have to turn that inside out <laughs> yes I know but it can be done it can so I'm going to use um, a pen and what I did was I took it to the end like that and turned that hopefully without ripping it inside out kind of like that there we go I'm just going to shape it now kind of and then I'm taking some wadding keeping the thread out the way And just stuff that in I can't tell you how much you need I don't know I just do it whatever you feel it, it you know it's up to you just you feel that's enough I think a little bit more because I'm going to uh, it's quite long to poke into the socket section so that it can uh, be glued in and you still see the hand when it's done now like I say um, because I've done it that way where it stretches I've got a nice hand and then all I did was I just stitched it across the top and then slightly gathered it when I reached the other end into the hand that I need 
and I think I'm going to do the same with the feet pull that's all I needed to do I need a little socket bit here that glues in so I'm just going to go back over that and pull that into shape see that will glue in for me oops there is it doesn't have to be perfect it's going to be glued in so it doesn't matter right so here's my doll you see and that's going to be glued in there so what I need to do is just to pop the glue on all over pop that into that section and hold it in like that I can trim all of this out and faff about with it later on do I need now what I'm going to do is just to pop a bit of glue around the edge of it just around the edge because I'm going to poke that in and let that dry and then we'll mess about with the cuffs later yep so you can see she's got hands we need hands so like I say um, she's mainly done isn't she and how easy was that although I've got the feet to do yeah I think I'm just going to do the feet in the same way what do you think yeah 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 so I folded about an inch and a half of course we just need to snip which I've got four yeah I'm going to do it that way so it's just I need them slightly bigger because well the feet you need to see them don't you like that although they're not much bigger but they'll do they'll do for what I need like that take two of them and we just have to do the same thing again again just not in my thread um, tack in the end I'll be back right so far um, I've just put one on now she's more like a ballerina so she could become one because look I've done the foot and she's more like a ballerina and I could put her on a stand like that I don't know I will see what I'm going to do when I get round to finishing her off so um, like I say I'm just finishing this one now which is the other foot because I had I did do these slightly longer and um, I'm doing a little bit of a smaller stitch sorry I hope you can see I'm just doing a smaller stitch um, because I don't want these uh, the paper oh, I'm gonna have to shift it to come apart when I'm stuffing the foot OK, 
okay and then what I'm going to do is uh, do an over stitch on this end quaff the scissors mate there which just helps it when I turn it inside out and then I'm just going to do an over stitch and work my way back round so I'll do that as quickly as I can And we've just got to turn it the right way. And this is slightly wider, so a bit easier than doing the hands. Just pull it down. Like you say, you've got that giving it. And I'm just going to turn that that way. And I'll get my pen and ease it through. Now, do be careful if you do try this. So you don't poke the pen through the paper. It won't be the first time I've done something silly. I once did it with uh, um, a cotton material. Okie dokie, I think we've got there. No, I don't want to do too much fee. Come on, don't be doing something wrong. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to get a little bit more. Like I do want to pack them because I want it to be quite taut in there. So I'm going to do a little bit more. And because there is a bit of give with the paper the way I've done this all the better yeah that's about right so all I'm going to do now is to stitch it up just doing a running stitch and then I gather it I pull it tight like that just to gather it enough to poke into the arm sec uh, into the foot section and there we go I'm just gonna yeah that's about right isn't it so what I did, you have to open this up. Now I've got some of the, I'm not sure if you can see it. These could have been a bit longer, I think. But I've got some of the fibre in there that I want out. It was just poking through too much. So what I've done is you open that up as much as you can. like that and then glue inside right and then you pop the foot in and when you do that push it in and grip that as well and it'll all go in as it should hopefully yeah I'm quite happy with that quite happy because she's going to be dressed as well, so we're not going to see much of it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I've only quickly, uh, and, and I mean quickly, painted a little face on here. Um, and she's just going to sit in there. And, and then I'm going to attach the... Well, I'm going to attach the hair first, I think. So I've got my needle and thread. And then you remember that wool perfect 
So I've got some hair here that I'm going to attach onto her. And I just take a piece and I'm going to just start it here. Tacking stitching. I do have to be careful because it's uh, not quite dryish, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm just going to attach the first piece of hair like that. Um, and the next piece, we want to get it as the, um, the length I'm on about. And I'm just having to untwist it. Yeah, she's kind of got a shabby look. <laughs> and um, I can add more hair in. See, so I can add more air hair in. Air in? Hair in! Right, let me just see what I want to do. Not sure. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut some strands that um, I just glue into the back because I don't want to keep stitching So, now you see, I might, like I said, I've just glued all that in. And I could, let me just take my thread out, I don't want that in there. Where's my thread? I just want to get my thread out. There we go, got you. Pull that to the front. Oops. Now, like I say, I could. I 
could do something like that. I actually like that. Let me just see if I can get a little bit more how I want it. Yeah, I actually, and I like that. So that's going on, no matter what. That's how she's having it. Lift that up. And then drop that down. Right, I'm not sure you can see what I've done. All I've done is I've used that whole, the whole of that piece and just done a running stitch all the way around. And I'm glad I did put the waist in because it wouldn't have looked right. But, um, so what I'm gonna do now is just push it all up um, around the waist. Best thing to do is just to do it like this. Now I've attached the two pieces together, but I've just got to pull it around the waist and hopefully it won't come undone. Right, as you can see, um, I've more or less finished her and all I've done is I'd used one that you know remember what I, how I did the cuff like a flower and I put a double one around the neck because we had to hide that little section there sorry um, I managed to find an applique that was pearl and diamante and I've stuck that on there and it's like a shell one so it looks okay um, I did put a little over skirt on it um, of material not sure if you can see it like that in cream cotton and then using the pearl trim I've managed to pull the waist in and put some ribbons on and a little flower and um, I've undone the skirt piece here you know you stretch it I've stretched that so that's given it a nice flare um, and there you go that's her she's done I may change the face and put a new head on it, I'm not sure, but I've just wrapped the hair around uh, and then draped it, uh, draped it over one side. So I hope that's helpful and I um, <laughs> just <laughs> better than nothing. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Give it a go. Bye bye for now.